Hello there fellow nobodies, and this is the show that you have never heard of. For those 10 people who have faithfully watched my channel, I'd like to thank you, but we're going to try and change things up a little bit. I'm kind of getting bored of single-sided fights and strange playthroughs of not enough commentary here. So we're going to try something a little different. Now, these are all going to be grinds out of the rumor mill, that is true, but most of them have internal sources credited to them. Here we go, here's what we're going to try. So for those of you who have been really keeping up with the console wars between the Xbox One and the PS4, there's not a whole lot of breathing room right now. They basically have the same internals, and there's not a lot of difference graphically, especially with Xbox One really starting to bump up the high resolution graphics. There's really not been a huge pull in one direction or the other for me to go out and buy a certain console, and while in the long run I'm most likely going to get both of them, I have to have a draw for it. It seems that Sony has actually been listening to the people for a couple of months ago on my blog, who's followed by two faithful people. I actually made this big post about how if anyone's willing to make something backwards compatible, shut up and take my money. If the rumor mill is true, and I'm really, really hoping that it is on this one, an inside source of Sony has said that the PlayStation Now, which is a live streaming network to let PS3 games work on PS4s, is not going to have PS1 and PS2 games. The initial reaction of people is, okay, what the hell is going on, what are they thinking? And the answer they've provided for this is that the new PS4s are going to have a PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 full emulator. That doesn't just mean digital downloads of the PlayStation Network either, it's going to have a full CD-ROM interactive drive. So, put an old disc, play an old game. That's it for me, I'm pretty much sold. So I gotta wait for that one to be verified, but I am definitely in. On to our next little bit here, I'm gonna have to drop the end bomb on everyone, unfortunately. Nintendo. For those of you who've been following along with Nintendo, stocks have dropped, sales are not where they expected to be, people are pissed off, nobody knows what's going on, and there's speculation and rumor going wild on both sides. Could this be the end of Nintendo? Are they scrambling for something else? We don't know what's going on, and that's kind of what I'm going to touch on here, because I want to know what the fuck's going on! On one hand, people are saying the Wii U needs to be cut back, and nobody's supporting the Wii U anymore, and EA doesn't like Nintendo because of it, and Watch Dogs is no longer going to be a Wii U title, there's dropping everything here and there, and it's going to be no more. And on the extreme end of that, there's a speculation and talk of a new console already in the works. It's called the Nintendo Fusion and the Nintendo Fusion DS. Two of them are supposed to have interchangeable memory cards and supposed to share a lot of the attributes of the Wii U and work with the Wii U's remotes, but supposed to be new and high-end and high-tech and somehow online. And not in the classic Nintendo way, but more in the PlayStation and Xbox way. But nobody really knows what's going on with that, and that's just kind of weird. And on the other extreme of the Wii U rumor mill, there's lots of talks of, hey, there's new games coming out, and I'm going to announce this title, and everyone's kind of surprised, because, no, you said you were kind of rolling back on the Wii U, because you only have nine games, and it's not really selling. There have strangely been a couple of new games announced, and there are certainly games that I've been waiting for, so I really want to know what the hell's going on. They just announced that there's a new Sonic game in the works, maybe, called Sonic Boom, and... I'm frankly not at all excited for that one, and don't think that's what you should be focusing on if you're trying to revamp a console here. I'm really fucking tired of Mario games. I don't want a cat suit. The Tanuki can't turn you into stone anymore. I have a Mario tattoo! Make it good again! There have already been video demonstrations and clips released of a new Donkey Kong game coming out for the Wii U, so we know that's happening, and there are games still in the works. I was almost ready to buy a Wii U when I heard that there was going to be a Hyrule Warriors game coming out. For those of you who don't know what the hell that means, imagine the Zelda universe put into a really, really, really large scale battle and commence genocide on Moblins. Genocide's never been so much fun, come on! The motion controls are actually working as a one-to-one -one ratio. You've displayed this in Nintendo Land. We know it can work. Give me a Zelda game, and I swear you better fucking make it left-handed. I'm not asking for a lot of answers here, Nintendo, but at least give us a general direction. Are you going to try and go and keep up with the Wii U, or are you going to give us a new console here? You've got so many things that are being juggled around, I just want to know what I'm supposed to be aiming for. Should I wait for the Hyrule Warriors and try and get a Wii U and hope for a, hope for a couple of new games to come out? Or am I waiting for this next-gen fusion thing? Thing. So to try and cap it all off, as soon as PS4 decides, hey, yes, we're going to do the emulator thing with PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, I'm an immediate buy for that, and that sounds amazing. Xbox One, you're going to be put on hold, mostly because I hate the Kinect. And probably because you have five games. That kind of leads up to Nintendo and the situation with the Wii U. Either really start making some announcements on games, or really start making some announcements on, don't worry guys, we still exist. The rumor mill is just all amok, and everything on the internet is just all over the place right now. You even have some categories that say you're experimenting with mobile games, and that's just scary. We all know how that turned out for Final Fantasy, so let's 
try and save things a little sooner here. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode. Now all things go well, then there should be more to come. If you guys know anything about these rumors or would like to contribute, please leave something in the comment section below. Thank you very much, Notify signing out.